example, okay, so I'm listening to a podcast at the moment called Where is George Gibney? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about You've told me about so this. So this is yeah. a very interesting case, all right? So George Gibney is an Olympic swimmer. Yes. No, sorry, swimming coach. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, based in Northern Ireland, was it? No, the South. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he coached one person called Gary O'Toole, who I think got silver or bronze. Right. Now, I can relate to this because the victim's called O'Toole. So, yeah. So I can believe this victim. <laughs> Maybe this one isn't making it all up. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, he was molesting him, like, you know, age nine. Yeah. Or, like, you know, and then, like, his big thing was, um, and he molested, like, at least 30 children. Yeah, he was very, uh, like, he was going for years, basically. Like, yeah. if you're a swimming coach, it's very easy to, like, you know, a young, impressionable child. It's like, hey, you want to win gold? Yeah. Mm, you know? Yeah. What, what, what you got to do? <laughs> Uh, just learn to swim good. Yeah. Apparently his big thing was he'd get like young impressionable children, male and female, okay, and he'd be like, uh, let's say let's say he has like a 12 year old boy. Yeah. He's like, ah, sure. If I was a girl, what would you do? Say, you're the boy, okay? Oh, okay. You're the boy. I'm, I'm, jo I'm George Gibney. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, how you doing? Hello. Uh, you're growing up, aren't you? I sure am. I'm do, a big, strong boy. Do you like girls? No, they're stupid. You do, you do. Well. You don't realize it, yeah. Maybe. If I was a girl, what would you do? <laughs> ah, this is making me very uncomfortable, ah, sir. Come on, come on. No. Don't put your don't put your clothes on. <laughs> uh, are we going to be swimming at any time today? Are we just going to stand? We'll get to it. <laughs> What's this car park? This doesn't look like the swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, what he would do as well is like he'd like after swimming yeah. lesson, yeah. he'd be like, "Okay, stay in the waiting room till I come back." Okay. And they'd wait there for like four hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he'd wait till everything clears out. Wow. Then he'd come in and be like, "Imagine I'm, imagine I'm Cameron Diaz." <laughs> Oh my god. Or whatever it is. Rita yeah. Hayworth. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Rita Hayworth. I'm Gilda Radner. Okay, so... Uh, um, that's weird. So this was like the 80s and 90s, okay? I think we should definitely make this episode of Patreon. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like this episode, right? <laughs> okay. We already give the shit ones to Patreon. <laughs> okay, so... Um, he gets accused of molesting like 30 kids, okay? Right. But... Because of Ireland's legal laws, all right. Yeah. He never gets named in the press. Okay. So he goes. He was pretty like. Uh, he was huge. He People was knew him quite. He, he was, was on late, like late, a quasi celebrity. He was on nearly. late late show, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be on the news a lot because he'd be talking about like, ah, my boys are doing well. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So he gets goes to court, all right. Listen, to this this shows like how bad, how hard it is to trial a a rapist. Okay. Yeah. So he goes to court, and there are like all these children. They're growing now, okay? Yeah, they're all uh, adults. Have said that, like, you molested them. And yes. they're given, they'll testify. Yeah. Written statements. Yeah. Everything, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to police, everything. Yep. Now, the the judge says, George Gibney has no way to prove what he did on those dates that they said he raped them. He's got no diaries or anything. Right. So he can't defend himself. So, therefore, it's not fair. What? Yeah. That's absurd. That's what the judge said. That is fucking ridiculous. Even though all the victims said, like, oh, he kept diaries. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy shit. But can you believe that's, like... That's... Look, what kind of argument is that? It's like, oh, he can't remember, so he shouldn't be... It's not fair. Yeah. It's like, if... How is that even allowed? Like, every defender would be like, oh, you know what? I don't remember that. It's like, oh, well, throw the case out. We can't win. <laughs> It's impossible. Yeah. He's got. Why would he lie? Why would he lie? It's a legal loophole yeah, called yeah. lying. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Now, ah, uh, look, this judge more than likely was drinking buddies with him. Yeah. He's like, here, I'll give you some of the scruffs yeah. that I don't want. Yeah. It's like, yes, please. So apparently, as well, on the when they're driving out of the court, yeah, okay, they accidentally crashed the car. Who does? Uh, his driver, George, George Gibney. Gibney. Right. Yeah. So he has to hide under some coats in the back seat because the <laughs> press are taking pictures. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, he goes scot free. Okay. And apparently, he tries to like get back in the coaching for a bit. He he like I read like a Guardian article about it. So he skipped to like L.A. Didn't he? Yeah. But what's interesting is before that, I think during the trial. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all the judge, all the other coaches in Ireland were yeah. on his side. Really? Yeah. Apparently, one of the victims said her car got smashed. Oh, they were getting harassed. And she got a phone call saying, like, I know where your kids go to school. Jesus Christ. And one of the victims was saying that, like, because she was also a, um, 
in coaching, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was a big swimmer, okay? Right. That she walked in one time into a room, okay? Yeah. And all the coaches saw her, and they all sat with George Gibney and wouldn't oh, sit with her. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. That's insane, isn't it? Oh, my God, man. So, anyway, George Gibney, okay, goes off to America. Yeah. All right? And gets work in, like, a fancy hotel. Yeah. Like, swimming coach. Yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Manager of children. <laughs> It's not a position that actually existed before, but he came and said we needed it, and he made some good points. So, yeah, okay. uh, had a lot of diaries, so yeah. uh, we uh, we took him on his word. So, like, he's doing well, okay, and prime time have gone over a few times, right? You know the way they do that, like, uh, George, give me, are you a rapist? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know the way do that walk and talk? Yeah, he's walking away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got like a newspaper in front of his face. And all he does is just not talk, and he gets in the car, and prime time are like, well, I guess he beat us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there's a podcast called um, Where Is George Gibney? Yes. And they're following following him at the moment. Yeah, I think I heard like the first episode opens up with them like kind of tra- following him in a yeah, car. Yeah. And then they get out. It's like, George, uh, uh, you're a nonce. Or whatever. Yeah. So you've listened to it, have you? I have, yeah. And it's good? It's good. It's not finished yet. Okay. So I don't know how it's going to end. Maybe they will confront him. Okay. But the moment, um, it's pretty good. There's one weird bit where they're like, um, they're kind of like um, watching him. Yeah, in yeah. In his... Uh, what you call like estate or block or whatever like that sure yeah and this weirdo comes out and he's like hey uh, what's going on here because you're scaring my wife right and they're like oh we're just watching uh, your neighbor and it's like well you're watching our neighbor is he terrorist is he <laughs> is he isis yeah is that irish fella in isis yeah and i know it and they just go like no he's not he's like pedophile <laughs> it's a pedophile we get some pedophiles around here <laughs> really yeah some weirdo neighbor Whoa. like apparently not wearing socks okay yeah yeah Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's a telltale sign. So I'd recommend it. Where is George Gibney? Where is George Gibney? It's on the BBC Sounds app and wherever you get your podcasts. Okay. Yeah, so Don't we plug another podcast on you're the right, show? Actually, yeah. It's shit. Made by the bloody BBC as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, fucking. Ironically enough, it's like the BBC are catching pedos now. Yeah. Too little, too late, my friends. So um, actually, if you've been more research about the Irish swimming world, okay. it's pretty interesting because another coach got... Uh, Caught as well. All right. Molesting children. And then another coach, all right, he was going to get caught and he was like, oh, what am I going to do? So he just <laughs> killed his wife and kids. What? Yeah. Did he kill himself? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get caught. I know. Honey, can you come in here? Bring Billy. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, Dad? Skitty bop 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he killed his uh, wife, wife and kids. kids. Okay. Wow. So they wouldn't find out, all right? Okay. He went to jail. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder what this guy's up to now. Teaching the prisoners how to swim? This is this, okay? Nah. He get he, They let him out. They let him off during the day to go to college. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He, um, gets, he gets day release. Child molester slash murderer <laughs> yeah. gets to go to college. Well, he's not going to primary school. DKIT, is it? Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be fun, actually. That I'd have to crack fun. with him. <laughs> Good rag week, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the Irish-